everybody, welcome to my channel. Today is going to be an exciting video where I show you guys what I purchased during the Sephora VIB sale. Um, I did pick up a decent amount of products because I do love a good sale. I mean, everyone does. So if you guys want to see some of the goodies I picked up at Sephora, then just keep on watching. Alright guys, so this is just going to be super random. I'm just going to start grabbing things out of the box. So the first thing that I picked up is another one of the Kat Von D tattoo liners in Trooper. I absolutely love this eyeliner. I love that it is a brush tip and not a felt tip because I struggle so much using felt tips when doing winged liner. Anything else I tried just didn't even compare. So I picked up another one of these because I love it so much. That is the first thing in the box that I picked up. I'm so excited to use this stuff again. The next item I picked up is an item that I've been wanting to try for a really long time and it is the NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer. I've heard really good things about this concealer and so I wanted to give it a shot. I picked up the color light to vanilla. I'm hoping that this it will be a good color for my under eyes and just to like brighten. I'm really excited to give this concealer a try. The next item I got is the Buxom Full On Lip Cream. I got the shade White Russian. This is another product that is kind of raved about on YouTube. I have not really branched out and tried many lip glosses. I was really always into like matte liquid lipsticks and that's kind of what I gravitated to Towards, but because my taste in makeup is evolving I decided to try these I've heard really good things about them and I've heard so much about white Russian I love that it's like a pinky nude color which I love pink nudes so much I'm excited to just use it as like a lip topper over lipstick or even just by itself on an easy like work makeup day just to add some color to my lips and some sheen so yeah, I'm really excited to try out the Buxom Full On Lip Creams. I've been wanting to try more of the Becca highlighters, however they are higher in price. So I actually saw that they carried the mini versions of them, so I figured I don't go through highlighter that much, so I just figured why not just get a small version. I picked up this highlighter in Moonstone. Um, it's just like a really pretty light gold color and I just love the packaging it is such a cute little highlighter it is quite small in comparison to the regular one I have this one in champagne pop and it is quite the difference but this will be so nice to travel with so this is moonstone it is such a really pretty um, color I'm thinking that it'll just give a really really nice sheen to the face. Um, I feel like it'll be a good color when I'm not so tan. I wanted something that would just be a lot lighter for my skin tone and because I do like when it's just like a sheen on the cheek rather than like a noticeable stripe of like highlighter and glitter. I really just like the nice sheen on my cheekbones so I figured that I would give this shade a shot and hopefully it works out. Alright, next is um, a beauty blender. So, you guys, I've mentioned in some previous videos that I have never tried the original beauty blender. So, I decided to pick one up during the VIB sale. I got this one in black. I'm not really sure what the difference is between this one and, like, the pink one, but um, I really liked how this one was black. So I'm really excited to... See how this one compares to my Real Techniques Miracle Complexion Sponge. I'm really excited to try this one out. Alright, so I decided to try the Too Faced Born This Way Translucent Setting Powder. And um, first of all, the packaging is so cute. Um, I love how like high-end this looks with the black and gold. And it is just so pretty. I've heard that it's very, very similar to the Laura Mercier translucent powder, which I do love. So I'm really excited to give this a shot. It's been on my list of makeup to try. And yeah, it is, again, like the packaging is so cute. I, I love it. So pretty. So my most exciting purchase, I think, um, out of all of this is the is the Hourglass Vanish Stick uh, Foundation. I am so excited to try a stick foundation and 